Uh, as Linda said, this is my vacation week in Westminster. I love this this week. It's uh, it it's just gives me a chance in the middle of the summer, which is my busiest writing time, to, to just not have to do what that and just teach these wonderful kids. And you know, we start on Sunday, and it's always scary because the age range of these kids is pretty wide. You're never quite sure what music to play. Some of them played, never played music this hard before. Some others have, but it's, it's always a challenge. But it's fantastic. By Wednesday, usually they're like, okay, we're going to do this thing. So, and here we are. So we're going to start out with a Sousa March, and one of the kids in the band says, that's been here several years, and we always play a Sousa March. And I'm like, well, we only get to play one march, and if you're going to just do one, you don't get any better than this. So, than the Sousa March. This is one of my favorite because it changes me. It's very unusual in that sense. It's called a freelance John Phillips Sousa.
As I mentioned before, it's it's great to be up here and to, to watch the progress in the week of, of the kids. We watch their friendships develop and their musical curiosity develop. That's one of the coolest things about this campus. It is, really takes music and looks at it from all sides. And all of a sudden, people start thinking differently about the music they're playing because of their theory classes and so forth and so on. So it's just really a great week for them. We're going to continue with a brand new piece of mine that I just finished this spring. Uh, this, is only, this will only be the second performance of it. The first was the premiere. It was a commission from a uh, very fine high school in South Carolina, my, my state, for a uh, music teacher, band director, who retired after 40 years of fantastic service. And this particular gentleman did it without any heroism. It was all just to the common man. Great work, never looking for accolades, never looking for newspaper articles, just doing great work for the kids every single day for 40 years. So I want to kind of write a piece that would reflect that. Not a boisterous piece, not a flashy piece, but one that would really just reflect what we think is best out of teachers. Just going to work every day, working hard with your, with your kids' best interest in mind. So, and because of this 40 years of service, I titled it A Legacy of Honor. So this will just be the second performance of it. It's not an easy piece, but we've had a good time working with it. Hope you enjoy it.
for you now. First time in the history of the camp that we are performing a piece by one of the camp members. Uh, Mr. Jordan Ward, way back to everybody, uh, has been here for so many years. So he finished and he sent it and I said, well, I opened it up and said, well, what am I going to have to do? And I didn't do anything. I didn't have to do one single thing. I just said, this is exactly what it needs to be the way it is. I'm very proud of him and very proud of the way the band has taken to the piece. It's, it's just an awesome treat for us to be able to perform this young man's new piece. It's called The Vast Horizon and I think that the sound will tell that you'll understand the title. When you hear the sound. This is Jordan Moore's Faster Ride.
set was for all of us. What a wonderful piece. And uh, there's just so much more to come from this young man. We'll see. Great player, too. So, wonderful. Great. Thank you so much, Jordan. Uh, at this point, we have two bands. One who did a concert before this one. And their conductor, Mr. Brian Eber, and I always trade off one piece with each group. So I'd like now to bring him up to do a movement from Lincolnshire Cozy by Percy Gray. Mr. Brian Eber. Thank you. I'd like to thank Mr. Bocock for allowing me to uh, conduct the band. Um, these guys are so talented and so responsive. It's really a pleasure. So thank you. This is uh, Percy Granger's uh, <laughs> Mark Stalbrand. So 
we're, we're, we're finally doing, I, I don't know, what it, not a theater piece, but you'll hear there's, there's stuff going on in here that's a, that's a little different than the usual. But it's a very interesting, very interesting new piece called Earth Dance.
to Shostakovich, this is a very Russian piece, folk dances. And this is the one, you guys are sitting up close, a lot of fun to see the, the woodwind's fingers flying like crazy through this piece. You know, there'd be pads and springs flying off. <laughs> this thing is got tons and tons of notes and it's really a lot of fun to play. So I hope you've enjoyed the concert. This is the folk dance. Thank you.